How's it going guys? Welcome back to my C Sharp programming series. Today we're going to be looking at keyboard event handling. Um, key events basically occur when keyboard keys are pressed and released. Now such events can be handled from any control that inherit it, inherits from um, system windows forms and you can um, use the member access operator for uh, control as well but we didn't we didn't do that. Um, the key press event occurs when the user presses a key that represents an ASCII character and the specific key can be determined with the property key char or key character of the event handler's key press event args, the argument. Um, ASCII is a 128 character set of alphanumeric symbols, so a full listing of which um, can be found in most uh, programming appendixes here. Um, to access these events, okay, first off in our, our main form here, we have two labels. Um, I'll go ahead and go to our properties. The first label we went ahead and named, um, oh, where is it? Did I click it? No, I didn't. Okay, the we, we named, excuse me, char label, character label. And the second label we named key info label, which will help us um, when we go to code this. And to access keyboard events, basically you want to make sure your form is selected and then just scroll on down to the key press. And as you can see, I've already kind of um, went ahead and did this, but to create an automatic code of like a, a code structure go ahead and double click it and you'll get a it, this will be basically empty but you'll get the um, the framework for it so that's the key down event the key press and the key up we have here um, so basically what we're doing is we're going to be gathering information about keys that are pressed and um, relaying that onto our labels here. Um, the key press event handler <coughs> accesses the key char property of key press event args object, <coughs> which in this case is E. Um, this returns the pressed key as a char, uh, which we will then display in char label. And if the pressed key is not an ASCII character, then the key press event will not occur. Um, the key down event handler, which is right here, <clears throat> uh, this will display information from its key event args object, which in this case um, is E. The event handler tests for alt, shift, and control keys by using the alt, shift, and control properties, um, which you can see control, shift, and alt. Um, each of which, th these return a boolean value, true if the corresponding key is pressed and false otherwise. The event handler will then display the key code, key data, and key value properties. And finally, <coughs> the key up event handler right here will clear both labels when the key is released. Um, it'll just make them basically go to a null status. So what what we're doing here, when we run this, okay, we have we're left with a blank form. But if we press a key, let's press G, then you see we're we're left with key pressed G. And I'm holding this down. If I let go of it, it's it's cleared. So G, Alt pressed no, Shift no, Control no. Key code is G, key data, and the key value according to ASCII is 71. Now if we wanted to go capital G, we need to press Shift first which you can see here our shift is down and then it tells you um, it's value 16 shift key and then we're going to press G and then shift is still pressed key code G key data is G and shift and key value is 71 G and shift G and this will work with um, you can press 5 shift 5 which is the percent sign um, and if we can just press control and notice no value is selected um, for control and alt and shift by itself. <clears throat> okay, so that's the basic 
way to handle keyboard events. Um, and these can get much more complex. This is just um, giving you an idea of how to construct them on your form. Um, so that's all I want to cover for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you for my next video.